uh, we've been talking about social media, video, technology, AI for the last ever. Okay. Now we were big into messenger bots back in the day when I was young. I'm not a kid anymore, but some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. And so we used to do messenger bots until this thing came along called AI, artificial intelligence, because if you don't know the amount of work, I don't have the time to go into it, but uh, a messenger bot is no more than an automated conversation with a personal touch, right? When somebody would send you a Facebook message, we had uh, messenger bots that we created uh, in partnership with Jen Jay-Z, Jennifer. Uh, it was called Sirbot a lot, right? And, but we'd have, to, we'd have to program those flows, which is the conversation. We'd have to quite literally predict all of the things that somebody might say and then have a response to that. The challenge is with a system like that is that if somebody doesn't say what you predict, it goes eh, eh, malfunction, <laughs> fall back. I don't know what you're saying. All right. So now let's introduce uh, introduce artificial intelligence. That's not going to happen, right? Think about how smart AI is. Okay. That being said. Uh, it's only as smart as you train it to be as well. Like it has general knowledge, but depending on your business, whether you're in real estate, insurance, photographer, uh, you're a, a coach, you're an instructor, you're a trainer, insert any business here, an AI powered chatbot can help you. Okay. It can help you because it can have an intelligent conversation, but then you can also train it or we can help you train it. Uh, to know everything there is about your business, right? Everything there is to know about your business, how you would re reply to questions, how you would uh, give people resources, perhaps. Because today's modern consumer, I'll give you a little bit of a statistic here. Today's modern consumer, according to NAR statistics, says uh, that they're looking during their zero moment of truth, meaning they haven't quite decided to buy or sell their home, but they're doing research, right? And in that information gathering stage, they want information. They don't want to hop on. They don't want us, you know, you to come to their house to do a listing presentation. They don't want you to try to sell them something. What they want is the information. So if they could be on the internet at one o'clock in the morning and stumble on your website and go, Oh, I have questions about buying a home. How's the market? Are there grant programs available? I love how I, this is how I type on the computer, right? I feel like that's a typewriter. So all of those things. Uh, but it can apply to any business. If, if, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna, if you're a broker, Theodore, right? You're a broker owner or a manager, or even, uh, I was thinking with, with real estate boards, this would work. But if you're a broker and you, you have to manage, right? You're a managing broker. You have to manage five, 10, 20, 70 agents. Guess what you could do? You could also have a chat bot, uh, that's intelligent, knows how you would, would talk things that you would recommend what your uh, SOPs are, standard operating procedures, what's your broker manual. You could have all of that trained in into a chatbot so that that new agent that calls you every six minutes, I have a question, I have a question, I have a question, I have a question. They can go to the chatbot and go, hey, what are the, what's the criteria that I, can, that I should use for my CMA? I know. It's pretty awesome. Here, I'm going to go like this. You won! I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. I've got to take my, my hoodie off. I'm getting hot here. So let's start with any questions you might have. If you're listening live or on the playback, just put in the in the comments, what are your thoughts on an AI chat bot? What do you think it is? Besides what I've, I've already explained to you. And how do you think, or do you have questions about how you can use it for your business? Uh, I have a little website that I'm going to show you, kind of run through some things to give you more of an idea. And then uh, if there's going to be a special offer at the end, well, we're going to give you a free guide at the end and help you explain it more. It's like a 14 page free guide on AI chatbots. But uh, also there's going to be a special price for anybody that wants the first 10 people that want to get a, a, a chatbot. Very special price. Okay. So let's go like this. Do, 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 Boom! Yo! Wait, shoot, I should have done this. Oh, 
there we go. Big brain chat bots, baby. Big brain chat bots, AI powered conversations that convert. Now, uh, you know, we can scroll through this or if you have questions on this or whatever, but think about it. Customer service available 24 seven, three, six, five for any business, any questions. If you do events for your church, let me, let me look at all, all the, all the things that, that we can help you with. I made a list here. I'm going to go to my list. Okay. So we have hotels, colleges, attorneys, uh, Airbnb owners, events, churches, e-commerce, car dealership, gyms, human resources, therapists, real estate agents, golf courses, veterinarians, nonprofit organizations, coaches, instructors, trainers, uh, and tours. And a partridge in a pear tree. Anytime I give a long list, I always feel like I need to say partridge in a pear tree because it's long, right? I like the song. So customer service. Uh, depending on your organization, you could do onboarding assistance. So if you want to train new people, new employees, new agents, new instructors, whoever it is, whatever your systems are, you can use an AI chatbot to do that. Uh, and you know, working, working faster. And what I mean by working faster is streamlining your workflows. Anytime I have to say thing, more, something more than once, I'm like, how can I create a system to help communicate this more effectively, uh, when I'm not available or when I don't want to be available. Okay. They make a real difference because, uh, you could probably go out and try to create your own AI chatbot, I would think. Uh, but the big difference between that and what we can do is that it's going to be customized, highly customized, uh, to how, you know, there's 1.6 million realtors. Is that right? I think that went down actually, uh, realtors in the United States, everybody does their business differently. Hopefully if you're listening to this, well, if you are listening to this, you are a better agent because you listen to a few things that I say at least today. Right. Um, uh, and so there's things that set you apart from the competition that make you better. So this is called your unique value proposition. Your chat bot can know what's your UVP. It can know uh, your brand voice, your brand personality. It can know uh, your core values. If you have extra resources that you like to provide to clients, guess what? You can have that in there as well. Uh, we have a ton of resources that we created for our old messenger bot, which we're also going to import uh, in, into the chat bot. So, we have buyer guides, seller guides, getting your home ready for sale, all these things that we used to call listicles, okay, which is something of value that a buyer or seller would care about, right? Buyer, or seller, or the consumer, market reports, things, things like that, okay? Um, it's super fast, and, and we'll show you in a second, but it can go right on your website, okay? It can go on your website or... Uh, there's actually for those, you know, I can't leave Facebook out of it. Uh, there is an integration where using Zapier, if you never heard of that Z A P I E R, you can zap it. Meaning if somebody sends a message to your Facebook, the Facebook message then gets sent to your chat bot, which could be hosted on your site or could just be hosted, um, in never, never land. It's its own, it's its own entity really. So you could use it. You could send people a uh, text message with it. You could send them Instagram DMs, like any real estate questions you could put in your link in bio on Instagram. There's a million different ways you can use this. Okay. So on a website, customer service, customer service, knowledgeable, conversational, um, efficiency and brand alignment. We told you that now, uh, part of the process is, is that you would be involved, right? I don't think there's a standard solution for any business on the planet. You have to be involved, meaning, uh, you have to provide some information to make it better. One of my taglines is relentless authenticity. And I think anything that's representing you, your business or your company uh, needs to be trained on how you are because that's why people do business with you. Period. Okay. Um, use case three expert advisor. This is for coaches, consultants, instructors, uh, online course sellers, any kind of business you specialize in. Okay. I'm going to go back over here to 
uh, real estate. I'm going to go over here. Do, 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 do. Let me refresh this. Big brain. This is so funny, right? Uh, AI powered conversations about real estate that actually convert. So if somebody just says, Hey, I'm wondering about the value of my home. Okay. What's your address? It's going to ask all the right questions. Oh, thank you for giving me the address. I want to three anywhere street. Do you, uh, have you made any updates to the, to the property? Oh yeah, we've done this, that, and the other thing. Okay. Perfect. Uh, you know, J man and J man realty will be in touch soon, uh, to schedule that. Or you could push them to scheduling some kind of online consults. Like you see here, if you have additional questions, like book a demo, book a demo, book a demo. Okay. But wait, there's more. If you're in a market where there's more than one language being spoken, uh, you know, if you're upstate New York, it's pretty much English, but sometimes we have some Spanish speaking. Uh, guess what? Your chat box can speak multiple languages. If you're in a big city like New York or Miami, or you're in, in California, you might have English, Russian, Polish, Chinese, multiple uh, dialects of Chinese, uh, Spanish, of course, different dialects of Spanish. All of these can be communicated with, with the chat bot, right? There's nothing more frustrating than, you know, the number one fastest growing demographic in, in first time home buyers is our Hispanics and Spanish speaking, uh, clients. And there's not enough resources for them, right? There's not enough, there's not enough agents out there that speak their language. There's not forms out there, hardly any forms out there are in Spanish. So being able to communicate more effectively with your target market. So nothing gets misunderstood because you have to provide great service. Do, 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 do. Things are quiet today. I'm going to do this. You won! Yeah, you did. Okay. Uh, you know, and like it says here, take it to the next level 24 seven customer service. I like the service aspect of being able to provide it for your clients or your consumers, but also, man, it's huge for your, for your agents. If you're a broker watching this, or if you're a, a team lead and you're watching this, like what a great way to free up some time. You just download your brain into this bad boy and it's going to answer all the questions for you. I mean, staying ahead of your real estate competitors, I shouldn't have to say that. That's why you're here today. Uh, that's why you're paying attention when it comes to uh, AI and artificial intelligence because there's been nothing like this ever. Nothing like this ever in the history of the world. Okay. Now, I know uh, I've talked to big brokerages and I've talked to real estate agents all across the country. Nobody's doing this. Surprise! Nobody. Okay. So you'll be the coolest one, the coolest kid in school, but in your area, if you can't think of anybody that already has one, now just like any tool, just like any technology that you implement into your business, part of it is the implementation, but then it's like, let's tell the world about this. Let's market this. Let's get this out so you can demonstrate your expertise. Okay. Because you can say that you're good at artificial intelligence, but so you start sprinkling some of your magic here and there, they're never going to know. <laughs> I'm out of sound effects today. Uh, automated property assistant, right? So somebody wants to search for properties, same thing. Buyer wants to look for something in a certain area. They're wondering about the market. They're wondering, you know, uh, what they can search for. It's going to be able to have an intelligent conversation. Okay. Like I said, if you had guides available, we do have a buyer's guide, seller's guide, anything that they might Oh, my credit's bad. Oh, okay. Well, we've never met anybody that can't get their credit fixed. Sometimes it's just a matter of time. Here's our free guide uh, on improving your credit. And we'd love to set up a call to put you in touch with our credit repair service. Boop, 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 right? Maximizing lead generation so that you make sure anybody that goes to your website that might have a, might have a question or wants, wants valuable information or wants your expertise, they're going to get it. So you don't miss out on anything because today's modern consumer, if you put like paid walls, I, so many agents do this. I talked to an agent yesterday and he was like, oh, I have it. And this is what circa 19, well, they have to be websites. So circa 2000, right? He's like, I have a, a wall. As soon as somebody goes to my website, they have to give me their name and email address before they can see anything. 
I'm like, oh, how's that working? And he's like, well, you know, I get some here and there. And I'm like, because everybody else, they go there, they go, okay, no, no. And they back right up. They go, and they just do another search and they find another company that's going to give them the information for free. So provide the service instead of trying to capture the lead. So our process is easy. If, if you want to get involved with this, you get hop on a call. Okay. Hop on a call with us. Zoom, of course. Uh, it, it's, we build it. It's customized after the call. You give us a lot of information uh, in regards to your business and how you want the chat bot to function. Okay. What, you know, at the end of all this, what would be the, the best case scenario? How would you wow your clients into this amazing experience? That's how we want to build it, right? Uh, I'm, I'm reading a book right now. It's called, <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Uh, unexplained, unexplainable service. Shoot. I'll get back to you on what I'm reading. I obviously read, read a lot, but it's, it's a, it's about, un, man, I am losing my mind lately, but it's about a chef that, uh, he, brought a restaurant up to the, the best restaurant in the world. And it's all about creating an experience, right? There's a lot of restaurants that have great food, just like there's a lot of real estate companies that have good service, but it's about providing an experience that wows them, right? Where they go, I just bought a house and that experience was like amazing. They, they did everything better than I thought they would sooner than they, than, than they told me they would. And, and for less than I thought it would be right? Whether it's buying a home and what their closing costs and stuff are. So that next stage, we, we do a little demo for you. Make sure that you like it. Install the chat bot on your website, anywhere else where it needs to go. Uh, monitor it on an ongoing basis. There's going to be updating uh, every month that you're going to want done. That's part of the process, right? If you have this great new listing, uh, we can update the bot with some of those listing details. And you know, when an open house might be, things like that. Okay, that's not going to be a daily update. Let's keep it real. Uh, but as things that matter need updating, it can be updating. And then each month you get a report on all your chat history and your leads. So if you have leads that are coming in or if you have agents that are wondering, oh, what's happening with the chat bot on the website? You have copies of all the conversations. You can be transparent. Uh, you can say, hey, look, this person came in. They asked about you. They sent you... Sent you, we sent you the information and you never replied. What's up now? Okay. Reporting is important, being able to track it. So how does it work? Let's try it out, folks. How does this work? Hmm. Okay. I want to keep asking questions, but I got to wait for it to finish talking. It's going to go over the entire process. But now imagine if this was for your website and it said something like, I'm thinking about selling a home. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll show Jennifer's here in a second. I want to upload something first. all the way to the end. Let that finish. And you see like I didn't prompt that at all beforehand. Let's see if I say, um, would this be good for real estate agents? I can't even spell. Would this be? There it goes. Onboarding and staff assistance, productivity and cohesion. Boom. Keep it going. What other questions you got? I could ask it anything. See, and this is. The big difference between this and the messenger bots that I used that I used to create was a messenger bot. If I don't ask it the right question, it's going to go, 
does not compute. I don't know what to say. Okay. Where's my, I have some, some sound effects for robots. There we go. I have more, don't worry. So we have testimonials, but here's, uh, these are general testimonials. We want some real estate ones because we really want to specialize in real estate because that's what we specialize in. Now, uh, what I would 